In the quiet corners of the world, where darkness and mystery converge, there lie places that terrify and fascinate in equal measure. These are the places where the line between the living and the dead blurs, and where the echoes of the past still haunt the present. This is the story of those places where the spirits of the past refuse to rest. Chapter 1 Aokidahara Forest, Japan The Hunting Silence It was a misty morning when Sarah ventured into the heart of the Aokidahara Forest, shrouded in a heavy silence broken only by the soft rustling of leaves. She had heard stories of this place, tales of desperate souls who had come here to end their suffering. The dense foliage closed in around her like a living, breathing entity. Each step took her deeper into the heart of the forest, and the weight of its eerie reputation pressed upon her. As the hours passed, Sarah felt a growing unease. The trees seemed to whisper, their branches reaching out like skeletal fingers. She stumbled upon makeshift shrines, remnants of those who had chosen this forest to be their final resting place. The eerie quiet of the Aokidahara was suffocating, and Sarah couldn't shake the feeling that she was being watched by more than just the trees. Chapter 2, Chernobyl Exclusion Zone, Ukraine Echoes of a Meltdown Dmitry had always been drawn to the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone, a place frozen in time by the catastrophic nuclear disaster of 1986. Armed with a Geiger counter and a sense of morbid curiosity, he ventured into the abandoned city of Pripyat. Crumbling buildings stood as eerie monuments to a once thriving community, and the Geiger counter's clicks served as a haunting reminder of the invisible menace that still lurked. As Dmitry explored the empty schoolyards and hospitals, he couldn't help but feel the weight of the tragedy that had unfolded here. It was said that the ghosts of those who had perished in the disaster still wandered the desolate streets, their voices carried on the wind. Dmitry listened intently, hoping to catch a whisper from the past. Chapter 3, Catacombs of Paris, France, the Labyrinth of the Dead. Sophie and Pierre, intrepid explorers of the macabre, descended into the dark depths of the catacombs of Paris. A maze of tunnels lined with the bones and skulls of millions. It was a place that sent shivers down the spine. The air was thick with the scent of the dead, and the only light came from their flickering lanterns. As they delved deeper, the walls seemed to close in, and strange echoes reverberated through the narrow passages. They stumbled upon cryptic messages and eerie drawings left by past visitors. In the catacomb's depths, they questioned whether they were truly alone in the company of the long-forgotten dead. Chapter 4, Island of the Dolls, Mexico Whispering Shadows. Emily had always been fascinated by the Island of the Dolls, where the trees hung heavy with decaying dolls. She had heard the legend of a tormented soul and the man who hung the dolls to appease her spirit. As she explored the eerie island, the dolls swayed in the breeze, their lifeless eyes following her every move. As night fell, Emily's flashlight flickered, casting eerie shadows. She heard faint whispers and laughter in the darkness, voices that didn't belong to the living. The line between legend and reality blurred, and Emily couldn't help but wonder if the tormented spirit still roamed the island. 